Hello there, this is Nameless and Friendless, reporting from nowhere. I'm mad late. What's up? I'm super late on this UFC thing. I've been seeing, you know, not I don't know where I've seen it or if I've heard it uh, in the news that like some people, uh, fighters were like getting replaced or dropping out of the UFC card that was this weekend. But I didn't understand why. And I'm just like, oh, I wonder why that's happening. And there's like memes of Dana White, like with an oxygen mask because he has all these fighters like not able to do their fights. And it just so happens that Conor McGregor has been losing his shit. He threw a dolly into a window of a bus that had a bunch of fighters in it. Even that included Rose Namajunas, Namahuanas. I never know how to pronounce it. But you know who I'm talking about. So he threw a dolly into it. And then like, so like I'm seeing the whole story and I... I immediately just think like, why Dana White got all these fighters in these buses that can't handle things being thrown at them? Can he cough up the money and get better buses for these people? Like people actually got hurt here. Like one guy had his head bleeding and just a lot of shit that probably could have been avoided, you know, at least injury could have been avoided. Like why do you have these people not in like bulletproof shatterproof buses dana fucking white like hello are you in there are you working man i guess not but either way so with that story comes more details right uh i don't know how to pronounce any of these guys' names but there's labove who is supposedly a friend of McGregor and Mr. Khabib, I can't pronounce his last name at all, but Khabib came at LeBov at a hotel in a lobby and like stuck his finger in his eye or something like that. So McGregor got caught wind of that and was like, oh hell motherfucking no, this man is not coming at my boy and went over and somehow got into Barclay Center in the bottom. Like how did, who let him in if he wasn't invited? You know what I mean? But he got in and was trying to defend his mans because this guy, Khabib, was in that bus that he threw the dolly in. And it ends up that guy didn't even come out to even confront McGregor at all. But McGregor wilded out. That's how Irish do. That's what they did. They went nuts. They were throwing everything. Who even let that man in there? Then, you know, the way I work is just like, who snitched? If there are if there if there is video, it better have been the Barclays Center video cameras that got that man in trouble. Um, I just took it as Dana White snitching. But, maybe, you know, it's just, you know, I'm just, I don't know. It's probably not that at all. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how to pronounce these uh, guys' name. And they're already saying it's a grudge match. So you mean you did this off a show just to get pay-per-view viewers uh, when McGregor's finally going to fight this Khabib guy? Like, is that really the extent of this sport, of this organization, you know? I know McGregor is like crazy anyways, you know, testosterone junkie, but does, did he really need to do that? I, re I really don't feel like he did. But they're already saying it's a grudge match. Um, he is getting charged with three three misdemeanor counts of assault, which is not that bad because I've been convicted of assault a few times and they pretty much let you go and you just have to not get in trouble for a while. He'll probably learn a lesson. And then he has one count, one felony count of mischief. I don't know what the fuck that means. But whatevs, he did like hurt people. Then you read in the comments of these uh, internet blogs or I mean, internet reports and people are like, oh, he's gonna have to pay back the UFC cause he got fighters out of this, that and the third, who gives a fuck? And then now the fighters are not gonna get paid winner money, but they're gonna get paid for the fights either way. So getting winner money, you didn't get to fight. It's very unfortunate that you didn't get to fight. But since when is life Fair.
you know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't quite add up for me. Uh, but I found that so interesting, you know, it made me so hype. I got excited seeing that, you know, I thought McGregor wouldn't get in trouble at all. So like when I first read it, I'm like, what? He's not going to get in trouble. And I texted you, Rachel. I texted you and was like, how is it possible that this white man could throw a dolly and he doesn't get any consequences? But that's a lie. But he's like mad New York City now. And then that's even more of a a plus for McGregor. Because I'm New York City. Well, I used to be New York City. I'm upstate New York now. So, so fun. He's yeah, going to have to be in Brooklyn. He's going to have to go to court again. I've been in those courts. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's just absolute madness. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to say about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Then I do want to just, like, even touch base on that. It's just, like, McGregor's bugging out because, like, he has a little baby. He can't be throwing dollies into things, into buses, you know? Like, what are you doing? His his wife must be pissed off, but she, that nigga didn't listen. I mean, that guy didn't listen to her anyways. So, who knows that either, you know, too. I, I really shouldn't even say that, but, you know, like, he's wildin'. But it's mad cute. Okay, this is the thing I forgot. So Nick Diaz was on Twitter and was like, wow, like sh just straight and dry and cut or whatever. It's just like, why Khabib could, har well, could harass McGregor's boy LaBove in a lobby that McGregor comes to come to press him at that bus terminal, whatever the hell in Barclays and didn't even come out of the bus. How you don't come out of the bus? That's what Nick Diaz said. And I always love the Diaz boys. They're, they're the best. They're real. You know what I mean? And then they so they're all just pretty much basically blaming the whole testosterone thing. It's really just like, you fuck with my people. I'm going to fuck with your people. And that's just going to be the way it is. And that's why McGregor did everything he did. Of course, it's not like rewarded. You know, like ultimately, you're not supposed to fight like that and then especially because they're like professional fighters just fuck him up in the octagon bust his ass in the octagon this all could have been avoided but i hope mcgregor just like gets out of this you know gives them all the money they want that they need or whatever and gets out of this without going to jail because that sucks i don't know i wouldn't want to be in jail but i hope they put him in like probation or whatever you know just to calm that man down you know who put the tate quieto on my mcgregor diaz Nate? I'm like, I'm a Diaz girl, but I don't even know which one is which. I think it's Nate Diaz that put the tate quieto on this, on the, on him. And he was sad when he lost against Nate. So, that's what I wanted to report. I got out of work right now. Not right now. I got out of work at 3.30. It's like, it's 4.52 in the morning. Uh, Tomorrow's going to be my fourth 12 out of five. And I'm just going to get this done. But this McGregor UFC thing got me hyped. And I saw that Rose uh, won again. But I, I could have told you that. You know, I, could, I predicted that. Joanna's done. I think she's finished. Unless she wants to fight again. But I think somebody else has to fight. You know, there's just a bunch of, you know, back and forth that has to happen. But either way, I want to get better at reporting on things. But that was my tester. So I hope you listen a little bit. I did blabber on. It's almost a 10 minute video and I probably am uh, aloof, but nameless and friendless reporting from nowhere over and out. Mwah.